the butterflies once upon a time there were two beautiful butterflies they lived in a very small green house and danced amongst the green plants there they smiled at the delicate little ferns and sang to the big leafed trees with all the little climbs plant twisting and turning themselves around and around they loved the little star flowers that peeped from within the leaves the all little butterflies were happy for a long time the little butterflies were so busy growing and dancing and singing that they did not notice what was the other side of the glass then one day they happened to be sitting quietly on a leaf where they suddenly saw out of the window a beautiful garden full of flowers of every color above it shone the sun in a brilliant blue sky where birds sobbed and sang with joyful cries the little butterflies nudged each other and kissed with delight at the garden their eyes fell at the last on a tall rose bush with a deep red roses standing tall along its stem and all about them were planted graceful white lilies which swayed gently in the breeze how lovely that big red flower is sign our little butterfly i know she would be my friend if only we were able to go out into the garden yes murmured the second little butterfly very dreamily if only we were free to dance among us to the blossoms i would dance all day and when the dear sun went to sleep i would curl up inside one of those beautiful white flowers i would feel very safe with her no care for me we have loved it in our little green house it kept us safe while we were growing up but now we are bigger and we are ready for adventures in a bigger world they thought but then they sighed a little even trembled as they thought of the old man who cared for the garden they were very shy little butterflies and they thought him very fierce they had heard him shout at the bird shake his fist and stamp his feet leave my strawberries alone he would cry they did not know what strawberry were but they were frightened by his anger so whenever he opened the door and came into the glass house they stood very quietly under a leaf and watched until he was gone but it meant they could never go into the garden they were too frightened of what might happen the two little butterflies thought about the beautiful garden they wanted to visit so much and then about the fears old man and they cried and cried and cried their friend the little stripped bee who visited them from the garden tried to reassure them and told them the old man was not really so fierce and that they really should be brave but the little butterflies only cried all the more they were so busy crying that they did not notice the old man come up to the glass house and open the door they did not see the old man come up to the place where they were sitting suddenly they heard him ask ever so gently what is the matter my little butterflies they felt very small and frightened in fact they were so busy being frightened that they did not see his loving look or hear the gentleness in his voice 
however they looked at each other and thought alike to themselves as they often did because they were such very good friends that perhaps they should take the wise advice and be brave if they ever wanted to go into the beautiful garden so one little butterfly took a deep breath he stood up very tall and answered the old man we were born in your glass house and we have been very happy here but now that we are bigger we want to go out into the garden please the second little butterfly nodded her head very gorgeously they both still felt rather scared but they didn't look to the old man in the eyes very politely of course and even managed to feel just a little pleased with themselves for saying what they wanted to say then to their surprise the old man smiled and said of course you want to go out into the garden even butterflies should be free to have a garden to dance and sign in with birds and bees and flowers for company i leave the door open for you to go out and in and so he did they he walked slowly back out into the garden and went on hoeing the weeds the little butterflies were so surprised at what had happened that for a while they just sat on their leaf then still just a little unsure they moved closer to the door and finally fluttered nervously into the garden there they smelled at the sweet scent of the flowers the young plants and the little bees busy in the flowers called out to them good day good day welcome to our garden very soon they were dancing around the garden at first the little butterfly used to go back into the glass house at night eventually just as the one had foreseen she made a special friend of of the rose and one night she even snuggled in amongst the wetly petals until she was completely surrounded by redness and softness and went to sleep and there amongst the plants in the greenhouse and the flowers in the garden the two little butterflies lived with much happiness and are still living now for all i know